creations by the sages of Canto 1, creation. Let's hear what Srila Vyasdev has to say when he wrote Srimad Bhagavatam. Before I write Srimad Bhagavatam, let me bow down to Lord Sri Krishna with gratitude. He created this material world, although he eternally exists in the spiritual world. I think about how he is independent and the cause of all the causes. He can even place the great sages and the demigods into illusion. I meditate upon him. Srila Vyasdev further says, the stories of Srimad Bhagavatam are blissful and when you listen to them attentively, you will meet your best friend Lord Krishna who is always in your heart. Srimad Bhagavatam is like a delicious fruit and because Sukhdev Goswami is the speaker, this has become even more tasty. Just like when a parrot pecks a mango, and make it even more sweeter. Now, let us take you to the forest of Nemi Sharanya. Many, many years ago, thousands of sages headed by Shonaka Rishi gathered in the forest of Nemi Sharanya to perform a fire sacrifice, or you may call it Yagna or Havan, for 1000 years to subdue the effect of Kalyuk and to please Lord Sri Krishna. One day in the forest of Nemesharanya came Srila Sita Goswami. Srila Sita Goswami was not an ordinary sage. His full name was Ugrashaiva Sita and he was the son of Roma Harsha Sita. Srila Sita Goswami had submissively and attentively heard Srimad Bhagavatam in the assembly of sages. While Srila Sukhdev Goswami narrated Srimad Bhagavatam to Maharaj Parikshit. Dear Srila Sut Goswami, please accept our humble obeisances. O oh, learned sage, please accept this Vyasasana. O oh, great sage, in this gloomy age of Kalyu, the people do not live a very long life. They are lazy and misguided. They argue and they are very unlucky. And above all, they are always disturbed. The sages, headed by Shonaga Rishi, asked several questions from Srila Sutta Goswami. For the welfare of people in general, and to know more about Lord Shri Krishna. Dear Srila Sutta Goswami, please tell us what is the absolute and ultimate good for everyone. O oh, learned one, kindly tell us what is the essence of all these scriptures. O oh, wise Sutta, please enlighten us by telling how did Lord Krishna appear on earth. Please describe to us all the beautiful pastimes of Lord Krishna and Balram. O oh, learned one, kindly tell us about the purpose of the various incarnations of the Lord. Please enlighten us and tell us where has religion taken shelter now after Krishna has left for Goluka. The sages headed by Shonika Rishi for the set. Oh, wise Sutta, we are so fortunate to have met you. Anyone who wants to cross the difficult ocean of Kali must come aboard this ship of hearing about Krishna. The captain of this ship is you, O oh Srila Sutta. Srimad Bhagavatam is bright as the sun. Srimad Bhagavatam is bright as the sun. Listen to it carefully and your hearts will be one. Shonika and these sages of Krishna's pastime throughout the ages. Throughout the ages. 
throughout the ages. So the Goswami told the history to today's narration of Krishna's mystery. Listen attentively to the stories and grow with the love with Krishna glories. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Srimad Bhagavatam is bright as the sun. Srimad Bhagavatam is bright as the sun. Srimad Bhagavatam is bright as the sun.